It's Smack the Guru. We are back. Power Episode 6 has came. Good versus evil. Make sure you subscribe and like the video so more people can see it. Now let's get into the show. The first thing we got to talk about. 2-Bit. Two 2-Bit two is out. He's back and he's out. He played Cooper Sacks. Was able to get out. And... I really want to see more 2-Bit. Like, I don't mind if they push him to the front of the show. Like, I always liked his acting. I know he's, like, more of a a junior actor as far as his career. But he's a good actor, especially for the show, to me. You know, and I like the character. So, Courtney Kemp has did a great job with 2-Bit as a character. And we know he's a killer. So, let's just make him, you know, bigger on the show. He got a connection to Tyreek, right? Because he met, he never met Dre. I mean, he met, he seen Ghost before, but he never like really chopped it up with Ghost, but they did talk over the phone, right? Remember at the end of Power, because he knocked off Dre. You know what I'm saying? Then he kept it 100 with Tommy, because he didn't snitch like Spanky, right? Remember Spanky ended up getting, getting his head, getting his noodle blew off, so... You know, 2-Bit is a character I want to see more of. Now, let's get into the rest of the show, man. So, we knew Davis was going to double-cross Sax, or Sax was going to double-cross Davis. So, it came. You know what I'm saying? Now, the, the funny part was them picking the, the uh, jury. Because I know the judge was like, what in the world is going on? You know, they agreeing on everything. They got this black jury up there. That's really, I know she really was scratching her head like, huh? You know, so, but they, they picked the jury. And, of course, Davis told 2-Bit to lie and not go along with what Cooper Sacks thought he was going to do. So, they crossed Cooper Sacks on that. Another person we did see while we mentioned in the court and Davis and all that was Rodriguez. She popped back up. Now, she's suspended right now, and you could see that she um don't like Cooper Sacks because she's saying he got her suspended, right? So um, we're going to see that progress, though, over time. I like Rodriguez, too. I think she's a good actor for the show and her character. I like her character on the show. So I, I wouldn't mind seeing more of her, too. Now, the other thing, Monet and these kids, Diana, Drew, and Kane. Now, Drew and Diana, these are the two kids she know they ain't really ready and she trying to prepare them right so she trying to have them work and you know just build some type of grit about both of them up you know because she know they not ready so drew leaves because he want to get up with it with some with the dude you know what i'm saying and of course diana she trying to see um tyreek so she used that excuse to leave too you know so they spoiled and she just keeps spoiling them you know, letting them kind of do what they want, you know, and we're going to get to Kane. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to get to Kane. But, you know, it, another thing is everybody think Diana didn't slept with Tyreek. They just they just know it's a matter of time. So they like, yo, you slept with Tyreek. <laughs> everybody asks her that throughout the whole show. She like, no, I didn't sleep with Tyreek, you know, so she ain't slept with him yet, but it's it's going to come. But then we also got Tyreek and Lauren. We're going to get to Kane, but I'm just going to touch over Tyreek and Lauren real quick. You know, they relationship growing too. And at the beginning, when they was in class, when they was talking about the good versus evil, right? We see the difference in philosophy with the uh, two people depending, the two groups of people depending on they surrounding. So you had half of the class saying, you know, people are fundamentally good, you know, and then you got the other half saying, nah, it's people that's fundamentally bad, you know, or they just didn't understand, like, certain people make decisions based on their circumstances, and everybody is out for themselves, you know, and some people just don't, I don't know, they didn't grasp that concept, you know, like, good is whatever you trying to, it's, based on every individual person basically but anywho after that they go back to the room you know and you know they just talking but 
Lauren boyfriend show up. You know, so her boyfriend show up, and I know he like, you, you hanging with Tariq a lot. Tariq, he got the little smirk on. Because you leave in the room and a boyfriend show up. So, you know, most dudes going, no matter what, they going to throw a little shot. And it's going to be subtle. You know, the chick might not even notice it. But the other dude definitely like, motherfucker, grinning. He got a little smile on his face. Because <laughs> he leaving the room. So, you know, as soon as he leave, dude, like, Malcolm, like, yo, you been hanging with him a lot, you know. So they, they probably, as soon as they shut the door, they probably argued. But um, that relationship going to grow. Now, let's get to Kane. All right? Let's get to Kane. Kane is wilding. The uh, officer, Officer Ramirez, he was right about Kane. He was right. Like, somebody got to get him under control. Somebody got to get him under control, man. Kane was wilding and he doing all this he riding with these two white dudes and this was the part that was like i'm like yo is this really what we doing right now he just picked these white dudes up take them to a corner drop them off just pick them up drop them off and they and brayden start moving his work and i'm like he got pills but he started moving his work so i'm like get the out of her like this wouldn't happen like no way i mean they did what exactly most people that like this dude a cop but after that it ain't like yeah post up and you about to start moving stuff like what dude he either would have been robbed or they would have left him alone like nah i'm good it's too fishy you know that's what would have happened but you know you see as far as like the actual show, you see the difference between Braden and his brother, um, uh, Trace, right? He real soft, like, buddy, super soft, you know. But Kane had no business with these dudes, just picking them up. He pulled a gun on them at the school, like, what? And then <laughs> my thing is, dude, if that dude would have put a gun on me in school, as soon as we left out that dorm and he put his gun away. As soon as we was walking through campus, I would have ran. Like, no, nah, I ain't going with you. Mm-mm. Like, I would have got out of there. So, but, you know, anywho, Kane just wilding. And then the most craziest stuff happened. He knocked Monet over. And I'm like, no, he didn't. Like, he got to pay. She smacked his hand away and stuff. And then it, it go to the scene with him and Lorenzo, his dad. So they talking, and I'm like, Lorenzo probably about to put hands on him. You know, that's what I'm thinking, but they talking. Lorenzo was calm. Oh, uh, he played it like a gangster. Shout out to Courtney Kemp for that scene. I like that scene a lot. That's probably the best scene. I was doing the best scenes for the episode. Uh, let me know in the comments if y'all want me to keep doing the best scene. You know, but that was the best scene to me. When he act like everything was cool gave him a nice hug they hugged all good can't get into the the p-way to leave and he peeped like oh the camera just went off and the cops beat him down and L lorenzo had to tell him like dude don't you ever put your hands on my wife dog like what's wrong with you you put your hands on your mama like come on man not unacceptable not ever not ever you know, don't put your hands on wife. So he did what he was supposed to do, and he played it like a straight gangster. And you see, they showed the previews. Kane gonna get wilder and wilder. So somebody gonna have to handle that. The only person that I think can handle Kane, like, and not get Kane out of there, is uh Two Bit. You know, so we don't know how that's gonna go. But Two Bit gonna be, he should be like one of Tariq's main guys, cause Tariq needs some people that could get down. He don't have nobody that could get down. Tommy ain't there. He needs somebody that could get down. And that'll be too big. Because Braden, he, I mean, he's showing he got a little heart, but he ain't, he ain't quite there yet. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that was that was the end. So we're going to see what's going to go on with um Kane for the next show. But I like the show a lot. Let me see if I left anything out. Uh, oh, yeah, Diana. Diana told her mom. Like I said, he like I said, she would. 
I told y'all she was gonna always side with family over Tariq. And that's why he ain't messing with her too hard because of that. He don't know, like, will she choose him? So he can't go too hard with her off of that off of that strength alone. You see what I'm saying? So he playing it right how he playing Diana, you know, because you don't you never know, you know, who she gonna side with. You know, but other than that, man, I like the episode. Um, besides the white dudes just hopping out selling dope, everything else was good money. Um, it was some great scenes in this episode to me. You know, y'all let me know what y'all think. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, you know, because I know it's a lot of people that do reviews. Ain't nobody giving it up like this. But make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's Mac the Guru. Y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace. Oh. <laughs>